given a number with a decimal point like 0 0.25 how do you convert this number into a simple fraction which is 1 by 4 in this case that's what we are going to do in this video keep in mind that simple fractions are numbers in the form of a by b that is numerator upon denominator also note that simple fractions are also known as vulgar fractions conversion of a non-recurring decimal into a simple fraction so let's do this with the help of an example and the number is 0 0.35 you have to convert this into a fraction that is a vulgar fraction so the first step is to write the number as it is without the decimal point so the number without the decimal point is 35 then divide it by a power of 10 now what power of 10 to find out that we'll count the numbers after the decimal point so here there are two numbers after the decimal point so it will be the second power of 10 that is 10 raised to 2 that is 100 it's as simple as this write the number without the decimal point in the numerator divided by a power of 10 that is 1 followed by some number of zeros and what number of zeros will be calculated by counting the numbers by counting the digits after the decimal point so in this case the digits after the decimal point are 2 so I, I will have two zeros after 1 that is essentially 100 now the third step is to reduce this term reduce this fraction 35 upon 100 to the lowest terms so 35 upon 100 can be written as we can divide this by 5 so 5 into 7 is 35 and 5 into 20 is 100 so our answer is we can write 0 0.35 as 7 by 20 so this is how you convert a non-recurring decimal fraction into a simple fraction or a vulgar fraction so we have to convert this number 2.004 into vulgar fraction so I have 2.004 the first step is to remove the decimal point so I'll first write the number without the decimal point so I write 2004 divided by let's write 1 followed by some number of zeros so what number of zeros let's count the numbers after the decimal point so there here are 1 2 and 3 numbers after the decimal point so I would put three zeros after one so one two and three so this is 2004 divided by 1000 now I have to reduce this to the lowest term so I will write 2004 divided by 1000 now this can be divided by 2 so 1000 when divided by 2 gives 500 and 2004 when divided by 2 give 1002 again we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 if I divide 1002 I get 2 5s are 10 2 zeros are 0 2 ones are 2 if I divide by divide 500 by 2 I get 250 so the answer is 501 by 250 option A is our answer how do you convert 0 0.605 into a simple fraction so again let's write this number without the decimal point so 605 divided by 1 followed by some number of zeros how many digits are there after the decimal point so in this case there are again three digits so 605 divided by 1 followed by three zeros so divided by 1000 now, now we have to reduce this to the lowest terms so how can you divide this we can divide both the terms numerator and denominator by 5 so 605 divided by 5 will give 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 and 5 ones are 5 again 1000 divided by 5 will give me 5 twos are 10 and 0 and 0 so 121 by 200 so this is the right answer so this is how you convert given a decimal point into a simple fraction now one thing I wanted to tell you is that when you solve this simple fraction you get the decimal fraction if I divide 121 by 200 121 divided by 200 I get the same decimal fraction 605 let's take another example the previous one if I divide again 
501 by 250 501 divided by 250 I, I, I would get 2.004 and that's what we get